Hi everyone, welcome to Cosmic Turtles, I'm Tina and today we're doing another uh, collective read so we're gonna start it's a beautiful day out there, it's really warm so I'm indoors just for now <laughs> alright, what do we have for the collective? Ooh, Nine of Cups! Ooh, waiting for your ninth or your tenth cup. So you're just you're sitting there patiently sitting there waiting for things to line up. And it will. And it is. Everything has been set in motion. Whatever it is that you really, really uh, wanted. So you see, he's sitting there on his bench. He's got all his cups lined up, and he's waiting for the right opportunity, for the right uh, cups is about love. So waiting for the right person, or waiting for, in the meantime, loving on themselves, uh, doing their self-care, uh, keeping their mind in a good state of mind. Okay, that's the first one. So I'll put it there, I'll put it up. Okay. All right. Next, what do we have next for the collective? You might hear some traffic, but uh, and cats running. <laughs> All right, big changes are afoot. Oh, you're building on your money, uh, king or queen. It, it's pretty much. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're building your finances. You're building. You're waiting on things to line up. And at the same time, you are taking care of your finances in a responsible way. Quit fighting. Psst. Leave them alone. They might still do that. Um. And it's a slow moving energy. And it's uh, the king of coins is associated with earth signs, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you may have some of that in your chart or you're embodying the energy of getting organized, taking your time, step by step for things to just come together in a good way. Well, just one moment, I'll be right back. Oh, uh -huh. okay, sorry about that. I had a call, I had someone come to the door, and so uh, I just paused the video and now I'm back. So let's see what we have so far and we'll get the other three cards for you. So let's see if we could set this up. We have the Nine of Cups, which is Waiting, satisfied, happy, waiting for the tenth cup because everything is all lined up and the universe got your back. And then we have the King of Pentacles. And then what else? King of Pentacles working on your abundance. It may feel like it requires a little bit of effort because you got to stay grounded and not be overindulging, not be. Uh, uh, going overboard in expenses or even if you have the money is just to save it for a future project that you really really want so be mindful of that and see what is next for the collective just give me a moment here I have a bit of water all right let's see what else do we have for the collective in this period of going towards Pisces full moon? What else do we have for the collective? Woo! All right. You see it right there. You are in Empress mode. How amazing is that? You're abundant. You're confident. Things are just happening for you. You carry the energy of the best of all four queens. And this is the middle of the reed. This is where you are. Then you have the seven of wands. 
for the most part, it's stand your ground. And also, it also means don't take on too many things. Don't try to control everything. There's certain things you can delegate. There's certain things that are already delegated to the universe to line things up for you. So you don't have to control the outcome because it's coming towards you. All you got to do is sit there and be in empress mode and stand for your, like, it's stand for what you believe in. But as the Empress, she believes she's safe, she's protected, universe got her back, she believes she's abundant. So continue with those beliefs and stand your ground on that. What else do we have for the collective? Keep what's yours, heal what was broken, and release the rest because it isn't yours. It was just projections from other people that told you you should be this, you should be that. Being your authentic self sometimes requires you to not necessarily do what is right, but do what is right for you. It's a tough one, but we'll get back to that at another time. For now, the last card, King of Wands. Very stable, grounded, passionate, relaxed. It's associated with the fire signs. He stands his ground, follows his passion his desires, but in a good way, in a way a king would, you know, still cares deeply for everybody that they care about. And through all this at the bottom of the deck, you have the fool card. You're embarking through this, you're embarking on a new journey. And this new adventure in your life is going to make you discover even more about yourself on a deeper level. And, and that will open you up to the possibilities of your greatest potential for your life. Okay. So this has been your reading. This is Tina from Cosmic Turtles, and we'll see you next time.